The Federal High Court in Abuja has again refused the request by the Lamidia Papa's faction to stop the candidate of Labour Party, Chief Aitan Achonu, from contesting the off-cycle governorship election in Imo State on the platform of the party. The request brought by the faction through its counsel, a senior advocate of Nigeria, Mohammed Indirani Mohammed, was outrightly rejected by the judge for being premature. At the ruling, Justice Iyang Eden Eko held that he had pursued through the affidavit evidence of the Independent National Electoral Commission and that of a purpose side and found contentious issues that cannot be resolved through the expertise motion as sought by a purpose side. He said from the totality of the claims by a purpose faction and the counterclaims of INEC, the dispute is deeply rooted and cannot be resolved through granting of interim injunction as requested by a purpose group. A purpose faction had in the expertise application applied for an order of interim injunction restraining INEC from recognizing or according recognition to any other person laying claim to the gubernatorial ticket of the party in Imo State, slated for November 11th, other than Chief Ukebu Ikechuku Joseph, who emerged from its primary election of April 16, 2023. The group also sought for order of mandatory injunction compelling INEC to recognize and upload the name of Ukebu Joseph as the authentic gubernatorial and flag bearer of the party in Imo State. The faction further demanded for a mandatory order against INEG that the name of Lamidi Apapa be uploaded as the national chairman of the party, as well as Al Haji Lawal Sali as national secretary. If the matter was this land, today justice has once more reigned supreme. And to think of it, do you know that this is not the only case on this issue? There have been forum shopping on this particular subject matter, and there are pending cases in court. On this issue, and instead of going out ahead with the cases that are already before the court, fresh cases are being filed to see how justice can be subverted. But luckily, today, justice, as usual, reigns supreme, and we are happy for that. So we ran to court to seek for an order, not to alter the date of the election, but basically to compel INEC to obey the judgment of the Federal High Court, the judgment of the Court of Appeal, and the rulings of the Supreme Court. But my Lord, in his ruling today, heard that since the INEC had filed a affidavit to show cause in the matter, the issue has become contentious. And it is only proper that the matter be determined in his merit that notwithstanding the election, he either order or has now ordered that parties should file their processes within seven days. Justice Echo, however, ordered the two parties to appear before him on November 23rd to present their cases for determination on merit instead of expertise application. See and in news.